Hi everyone. So a uh, short recording. Um, you're looking at a weak signal on 486 kilohertz. So that's in the space between the um, uh, upper end of long wave and before the start of medium wave. And this signal is being transmitted by um, <coughs> call sign Whiskey India 2 X-Ray Lima Quebec. Um, it's, that's an experimental call sign uh, and it's being operated by Brian Justin. And every year on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve, uh, Brian transmits this AM signal. Um, and in homage to what is supposedly the first uh, AM voice transmission made by Reginald Fessenden in uh, 1909. So uh, Brian does this every year. Um, he starts transmitting at 22 hours uh, UTC, Zulu time uh, on Christmas Eve and does the same thing on New Year's Eve and lets the uh, transmission run for 24 hours or about 24 hours. I believe it's a sort of computer generated voice uh, transmission, um, but I can't get any audio. I read somewhere that this guy might be in the sort of New York, New Jersey area, but um, some of you guys will probably be able to confirm that. Um, so I've got no audio. Uh, the signal kind of peaks a, a little bit uh, higher than it is right now. Um, I'm only really seeing the carrier. I'm, there's, I, there's no modulation, but I'm going to monitor um, for an hour or two uh, just in case. Then my noise floor is uh, it's about minus 118 dBm, which is pretty good for a sort of suburban area. Now I sort of live in a village on the edge of a village. Um, and my sort of noise floor uh, is generally pretty good, particularly at this time of night, it's nearly midnight and on Christmas Eve. Um, but yeah, the signal's not strong enough. The other thing I'm not sure is how much TX power this guy uses. And obviously, you know, long wave transmissions across the Atlantic, it, you know, is a, it's quite a big ask. Um, I mean, I've done that. I've I've copied I, Morocco, Nador on one seven one kilohertz from northern Brazil and Radio Four, but they were very weak, um, you know. And these are stations using hundreds of kilowatts uh, transmit power, so it's always going to be a bit of an ask. Um, so I'm seeing the carrier, which is relatively interesting for me. Um, but uh, no audio. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. If I do happen to copy a, even a tiny bit of audio, um, I'll record it and I'll upload it to let you guys uh, listen. But um, yeah, if you want to, um, uh, if you want to find out more, then if you just Google Whiskey India Two X Ray Lima Quebec Experimental, it's, it's an FCC experimental call sign. Um, and the operator is a chap, as I said, by the name of Brian Justin. You can read more about it. But um, yeah, it's. Uh, I knew what it was as soon as I saw the signal. Um, I wasn't confident of being able to um, uh, of being able to hear any audio. But um, yeah, it's always worth trying. So um, I just found a website, and I'm just trying to see if there's any more information on the actual transmit details um <clears throat> uh so someone here says that he uses a slightly more modern homebrew version of a 1920s era amateur grade uh mopa transmitter based on a uv201 oscillator and a uv202 final with a and a high power linear uh f uh, fet amp um I'm looking for any information on transmit power. Um, well, uh, well, someone here said three watts. <laughs> um, oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, and that gets attenuated and then drives a pair of audio amps. So uh, oh, apparently the carrier is about 300 watts. So uh, there you go, 300 watts. Um and that's actually that's from Brian himself. So yes, yeah, so it's about three hundred watts. His antenna is a one hundred and sixty meter dipole within a six hundred ohm open wire feed um, that gets tied together through a variometer. Uh, so three hundred watts. Maybe so. Not surprising. I can't uh, 
uh, detect any modulation, but you never know. I'll uh, keep listening. So um, just in case, and if I do, I'll upload it. So anyway, thanks for watching. It's almost Christmas Day. It'll be Christmas Day in two minutes. So uh, all the best for Christmas and happy holidays. 7-3.